Talks, and welcome to my channel. Hey, welcome to my channel. Hey, don't you know it's a thrifting show and all of my so bees that been down with me. Woo! 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 Okay, so I'm so excited. Let's get right into it, honey. Now, I didn't put on any makeup or anything because I know I was going to be in and out of clothes, child. And I didn't want to make up uh, everywhere. I ain't want to anywhere. So, we're talking about vintage. One of my favorite things. And we're going to try to do or attempt to do today is make vintage a little bit more modern. Now, if anybody been following me for a while, you know I've been talking about vintage before vintage was being talked about. <laughs> I've been talking about vintage for a while. I've always loved vintage because of the uniqueness and the time and and the detail that they really put into vintage back then. So we're going to start with this top. I love this top. And I was looking at this top. I was like, this really could be like, I don't know if the light is doing it justice, but it has like a little, yeah, you see that? Like that little glittery too. It is really pretty. I do think it was made because I couldn't find any information, any tag or anything on it. So I went ahead on and started with this top and I said, you know what? I'm going to give you some options because if you look, it does have like, you see that little green and I do have a darker pair of green. Don't pay no attention to my nails, honey. And so I it thrifted. I just threw on these green pants with it. Now, regardless of what uh, pants I will wear, I will wear a, like a taupe color boot like this. With like even look at that, I will do it with the orange. I would do it all like a micromatic. Is that the right word, child? <laughs> look. Anyway, so this is the first. It's with the orange. I mean, God Jesus. It's with the green. So now let's try. So now, hey, let's try with. Let's do the brown, the tan. Y'all, what is... I recorded the whole thing, talking, everything, and I was taking pictures. I wasn't... Anyway, I was talking about these pants are vintage as well, and I was saying, look how high-waisted they are. I mean, I know my... I mean, I know they could be... Up, you know, uh, I know, but they still right under there, even if they was like, a, you know. But, uh, yeah, they real high-waisted. But look at these. I, 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 I had just said, I said, I just came from the gym. So, my toe tied, my toenail tied, my, my feet tied, the side of my skin tied. So, we ain't going uh, uh, on and off with the shoes. I told you, just imagine, just imagine. See, just, just imagine. And then put on a blazer this color or cream. Oh, you cream. Oh, oh, the cream blazer with, 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 with this. Yeah, don't pay no attention to the nails. Yeah, they jack right now. But yeah, so, and like I said, these are definitely vintage. And I think this is so cute. Now, you can't tell me that this is not modern or looking a little bit more modern. Now, of course, you can look at the top and say that look like an older top. But if you put on the right blazer, honey, it'll just look like it's popping because they redoing this kind of stuff anyway. But you can't, look at that, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. You can look at that. I mean, do y'all see the gorgeousness of that? And y'all know I used to say what I used to say. I love vintage, but what? Good vintage. Look at that. With those boots and that black. Oh, and you know I throw on hat. Now we got one more pair that y'all have seen before, and that is the the one with the feather on the side. So mm, let's see what those look like. Okay, so with these pants, we have Two options of a belt. You could do the Shein dupe for a Lueve belt. And remember these with the, on the side. And I still would do like that brown boot. And you still could do a blazer if you want to. And that just it up. Or if you didn't want to do the Lueve dupe. Let me see if we can do this quickly. On camera. Uh, no, I have to be right back. Or you can do this gold chain belt. And I said the gold chain belt because I feel like my lighting is so off. It's because the gold buttons 
Or you could do the gold chain belt. And I would throw my boots on. And I would actually wear this out to dinner with my husband. Uh, you know, or just hanging out. Whatever you want to do. Okay? Okay. But yeah, so now with this top, let me know which pair of pants was your favorite. The tan, the green, or the orange with the flukety, 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 When I say even my toe tag, the toe tag. Okay, this is another piece that I thought was super cute. And you can tell it got some age on it. Uh, and people don't be looking for things like this when I go thrifting because, you know, most time people are looking because they're resourcing or reselling. Now, it do need a little fixing because the, you know, it's vintage. The elastic is kind of pretty much gone. But I know this is not everybody's thing, but I think this is so cute. And I definitely will put it on with my brown boots. I know we'll talk about the toe and the toe and all this stuff. So just imagine, uh, I will put on, I'll go get the boots and show you what I'm talking about. I will put those on. But the thing I like about this is, hold on one second. It's the bottom part. If y'all remember, I told you I thrifted this vintage sweater the same time I thrifted the other pieces that I said I was going to save and show you guys. So, the thing I like about this bottom half is you can get an oversized sweater. I'm talking really oversized sweater. Throw it on, and I will put on like the penny loafer type style shoe with this. And to me, that is really cute. And it will modernize it up, make it look just as cute because you know the pleated skirts are all in. But I think that is so cute. But I like the dress by itself. But the fact that I could, y'all seen my trip over the trip today? Whew! And I'm sweating like a pilly, pilly goat. Not a billy goat or a pig, but a pilly goat. So, yeah. I like it. So, I like the dress by itself. You can just that up. I forgot to show you guys the boots. Let me run and get the boots. Okay, so I decided to go for these and not the ones with the heel because I feel like I could take these better. But, yeah, I let it down so you can see. So... Hopefully, that's a little bit better, child. Woo. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oversized sweater. And you can wear it as a skirt. Because I'm telling you, for some reason, that poly in that Elster, it's a little, like it was even a little thinner back in the day. But anyway, I chose these boots instead of the one with the heels. And, yeah. So, let's. Move on. Okay, I think anybody can tell this vintage just by the whole look of it, style of it, and shape of it. But I thought it was cute. Like I told you, they don't be looking for stuff like this. But this is how I would wear it. I just kept on the same boots. I just added a belt. The little pleats down here, you now it's thin, y'all. Y'all can see how thin it is. But the pleats, you still can add a sweater on over it. But I know it's a little dated, but I feel like the jewelry, you know, and the shoes, and I feel like you could get away with it with these boots. And I feel like that's what's going to kind of update this a little bit more. But I love stuff like this. Now, I have to be honest, it did have a big brooch right here. It was a big brooch right there. I ripped the brooch off. I'm trying to be smart. I ripped the brooch off. Because I was like, no, nah, that brooch is really going to date it. Baby, it's dated anyway. It, it's dated anyway. And then when I got home, I was like, man, the brooch was actually cute. I should have left the brooch right there. I should have left, left it alone. Sometimes you just got to leave stuff alone. Anyway, so, yeah. Anybody know that this is vintage? Anybody that know vintage know this is vintage. The big shoulder pads, the square football type, or, oh, you know. But I feel like it can be modernized. And I feel like it could be so cute. Because I just, like I said, I like vintage. But I like good vintage. Okay. Let's move on to the next. This is the next vintage piece. And I'll just put this on with some black heel boots or some black booties black flat boots but i love vintage knitwear anyway 
So it's just a two piece set. And the color it is what drew me. And I love black. I don't know. I love black with raw blue. I love black with certain colors. Now, I didn't want to put on the boots because I got a question for y'all. I got a question for y'all. So, these was brand new in a pack. And I had thrifted them. Because I thought they was different. But then I haven't worn them. Because I was like, oh, I could style them up with some shorts or something. But I hadn't worn them because once I put them on, it was a little questionable. So, I said I was going to ask my fam bam. My fashion family. Have y'all ever seen anything like this? Well, is this some um, woman of the calling kind of, not the, not the Holy Ghost calling, but another kind of calling stuff? I mean, we, have y'all, maybe I need to come in closer. I got a little nervous once I got home and tried them on because I was like, oh, have y'all ever seen any, 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 any anything like that because i was like oh they'll be cute see like with some little you know but then i was like i, I let me come a little i was like uh i was like i, I don't know I, I i i don't know i i i don't know so i don't know uh, uh, I don't know, so you know, it, it, you know, help me out, you know. I I don't know, hey, I don't know. It look a little when I put them on. I was like, it look a little, look, look, little suspect. So, uh, uh, yeah, y'all let me know. Okay, let's let's move on. Okay, yeah. So this is another one. I would not try to do anything all out the way with just a simple uh black booty or black heel boot, leather coat, and that would be it. But I love I wish the pockets were real. I love the faux pocket look in the front of it, and it got a little clasp here. It just pooped. Got a little class right there. You just pop that. And then you could pin it for extra security. But look at the buttons. Can y'all see the buttons? Look at the buttons. Yep. So this is another vintage piece I really do like. I love the two little splits right there. Uh, yeah, I really do. I still have my niece stuff on from the gym, y'all. But uh, yeah, I love this look. I love this dress. And I think it's a nice, classy dress. It also could be with, like, the church dress. I did want to do, like, a thrifted, my thrifted church outfits or some of it along those lines. And this could fit right in because I would wear this to church. I would. I would. Now, I'll cover that a little bit more, but, but, but I would. I would, you know. I, I would wear it to church. So, uh, that's it. We finna get into a couple of more pieces, and then that's it. And listen, y'all, I'm just, I'm just a fun type person. Stuff I do or say is not to offend anybody. If it's offending you, that means offense is already in you. That's not the intent. So, I hope I ain't offending nobody by, you know, my, 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 my personality, my little jokes. My breast must want to say something because it keep opening its, the, the top like it got something to say. All right. With that being said, let's move on to the last few. Okay, we're going to start with this top. And yes, it is a little tight. I didn't button it all the way, y'all, because I'm hot. But we're going to start with the top. Look at the top. And it, it, it's, it's a little tight. But I just could not leave this beautiful top. It buttons all the way up the neck like that. And then it has, like, look at the sleeves. And then these pants. Now, I'm going to show y'all the beauty of the pants first. These pants are gorgeous they have buttons they vintage they have buttons where they button on the side like that and now love these pants i love all the little tweed like but they itchy they got wool or something in them and i'm they itch 
and I cannot walk around scratching and scratching the lower regions. I mean, they 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 itchy. They they itchy. I I love them, but they itchy. So I don't know what to do. I can't go around scratching. Woo. So yeah, let let's go to the next. These the other pair, same top. These still got they tag on them. These an old pair from Sears. I love these too. These I know all have wool, but they not as itchy as those. But yeah, these are these are the other pair. All right, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video with no makeup and just me being me. I, I can't be nobody else but me. I can't be nobody else but me. Oh, I forgot to show y'all this. Y'all remember this? The other uh, blue jean blazer. Yeah. Okay. It ain't going to burn. I had to like put it up over the bottom region. So we just we just gonna do it like that. We gonna do it like that. Okay, okay. All right. So that's all I have for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please, y'all can't see my face. Like, share, hit that notification button so you know every time I upload. Please share. Please let me know what you think in the comments so I can kind of know what kind of videos to bring you guys outside of just going thrifting with me or just going to Walmart or riding or anything before I do plan on to break off into vlogs to give you guys a little bit more intimate details. Not everything, not everything of my life. But uh, so please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button. And above all that, you already know, be the solution to somebody's problem because everybody needs a little help every now and then. Everybody been in a, in a spot, in a place, in a time where they just needed to feel love and just know that, needed to know that they were appreciated. So with that being said, please guys, hey, be the solution. Be the solution. Bye. Love you guys. Mm -hmm. Woo! Eh. Woo -cha. Phew. Phew, phew, phew. Phew, 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 phew. All right.